Hello, welcome to Yates Makes. This video is all about magazine image transfer using the gel plate. Um, so we're going to be dealing with transfer itself, how to clean up the plate, combining it with stencils, combining it with collagraphed elements, some hand painting and how to combine your images with hand drawn elements. Quite illustrative techniques I'd say. Um, Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, first, the disclaimer. This is a hit and miss technique. What will help those image selection, let's have a close look at this one I'm starting with. Black and white, definitely, and high contrast. Now, this is from a Vogue magazine, and it's quite glossy, the paper's quite thick. Um, now, I think why the glossies work is because of the nature of the paper, the inks need quite a lot of oil or plastic in and um, you know that works nicely as a resist against your wet acrylic. I have had success with a range of different magazines, so you just have to give it a go. Right, equally important is inking up. Now, I've frozen it there and zoomed in. This is black Amsterdam acrylic, heavy body, but you can see I've inked up really thin layer of black, thin enough to almost see through. Um, and you can't hang around, okay? While that's wet, you need to get your image down. And the next point is, this is all in real time, this footage, to give you a sense of how long it's down there, is you kind of have to press hard enough to make the paper contact the plate. But if you press too hard, you will pull up your image as well. And, um, you know, this is trial and error. It's a feel thing, and... You know, you need the gods on your side and you also need probably the right weather conditions as well. I'm doing this on quite a cool afternoon. So, you know, not too humid, not too hot, not too dry. You know, um, like I say, you need the gods on your side a bit for this and you're going to have to be prepared for some trial and error. So that was down for what, 10 seconds at the most and it was really light pressure. Right, I'm now moving on with some cleaning up. Um... These glossy magazines, you know, if you're lucky enough to get some, all, most of your image kind of um, transferred, you're probably going to get some unwanted stuff as well. So just a little bit of masking tape to clean up, um, just to pick off those areas. And masking tape's great because you can fold it into little shapes and get into the nooks and crannies. Um, so yeah, cleaning up your image or some clean up um, might be required depending on what you want to do. You know, here I'm going for an idea that's quite clean and quite graphic. So, yeah, I did take that time and care to use the masking tape to clean up the plate. So for this uh, first idea, I'm just going to keep it really simple. I'm going to um, just transfer this with a layer. I've let that dry completely now, and I'm just going to lightly roll out some white ink and, uh, sorry, some white acrylic paint and... Um, roll this out to, to pull both layers off and transfer that onto my sketchbook page. Once you've inked up with your acrylic paint, you can then flip that over and that should only take a few minutes to dry um, in order to transfer. That wet layer of white acrylic will pull both those layers off the plate and you are then ready to continue with your image. Okay, you can see there, a fair amount of details come up. There's also some random marks, but that's okay. You know, that's what you get with a gel plate. You know, you, you just lean into that and you enjoy it. Right, um, as I only kind of chose to keep the, the legs and feet, I've just designed this on tracing paper laid over my image um, so it kind of matches up in, in size and scale. This kind of weird graphic um, silhouetted motif that I'm going to transfer. All I've done is... Done that on tracing paper, transferred that to a piece of copier paper, snipping that out with my um, craft knife, and then I'm going to use that as a stencil. So registering it over there, tacking it down with tape, nice thin layer of red, flip that over, and that should work just fine with your stencil. Um, so there you go, quick sort of fun, illustrative design completed one possible suggestion of how you can kind of creatively use magazine transfer. Right, moving on. So I've got another page ripped out of 
a magazine called An Other, which is one of these, you know, really thick bumper, quite cheap actually, really affordable um, kind of fashion photography magazine. So um, this image um, I've chosen on purpose because it has got some high contrast, but the face has got a lot of mid-tone. So, you know, it will show up some of the challenges with where your image is not quite so high contrast. So all I'm doing to start with is adding some paper color graph. So that's newsprint, made a little sort of monocle graphic motif to go around his eye and then cut some, some of the pattern out and mounted some text in from underneath. Okay, I decided to stop at this point because I don't want to invest too much time if, if this image doesn't transfer. And, and kind of therein is the the kind of risk, if you like, with using these um, glossy magazines. As I said before, not that I'm that experienced. Anyway, look, that's a good indication of how little paint I'm using. I just held up to the camera. Um, again, just aim for a thin, even layer. Um, in making sure it's thin and even, equally you don't want to hang around because you just don't want it to dry too much either. I hold it up, look, and you know you can see my hand through there. That illustrates just how thin a layer this is. Okay, as I said, no hanging around. On the on the image goes. Again, this is in real time. You know, I'm still getting a feel for this. Every image is different, it seems. So. <laughs> I think you have to go for around 10 seconds. Light pressure, I'm probably already up to 10 seconds actually. Um, there's no way it would have made contact everywhere. <laughs> if I peel up, you can see already I've got funny little blotches. Um, you can pick up some of these blotches if you're quick enough. Um, uh, but as I said before, you, you don't want to do it so much that you then disturb your image too much. So, you know, you can clean up what you can with, with masking tape, as I did with the first example. But that doesn't look too bad for a fairly kind of low contrast image. Um, it's, it's not gone too bad. You can see a lot of those half tones or greys or mids, whatever you want to call them, on the face that were on the image have not transferred at all. It's mainly the dense areas of black and everywhere there's kind of grey, mid-tone or white, that's kind of, um, that's just kind of picked up that paint straight off the plate. So just cleaning up a little with the, with the roller, I'm, I'm going to kind of further clean that up, I think, with tape. But it's not bad, I, I, can, I can work with this, I think. Okay, definitely removing this part. I'm thinking I might hand paint the profile in there. And I'm going to remove um, a kind of curved shape along the top of the head because I want to draw, hand draw, hand paint a hat on top of his head as well. Um, ripping your masking tape in half lengthways will allow you to curve round shapes. Useful tip, I'm sure you know if you've, like me, made good friends with masking tape over the years. Okay, I'm just doing some hand painted areas here. This is just straight out of the tube um, acrylic. Um, these are Posca pens, um, which are really great fun. I'm discovering to use on the gel plate as well. Um, they dry pretty quick and, and just lift off nice and clean too. So you get a nice opaque and, and controlled drawn edge if that's what you want or line. Um, and, you know, I reckon the more kind of graphic, bright, colorful pieces you put on, it kind of draw attention away from any other kind of irregularities or I don't want to call them mistakes, but you know, imperfections in your kind of, um, your transferred image as well. You'll notice that I've um, added a little extension there. I've, I've used my little six by six plate just to allow me some more room. Didn't start with any great design, so realized I needed that space. On again, hand painted areas just to see how that looks not tried this before so um, I'm using um, just sort of tit uh, titanium white here just to ink up the whole image once it's dry and this wet layer is going to pull all of those layers off um, onto my paper so get that kind of squeezed together 
some A3 paper this time, so I've had to come out of my sketchbook because of that extension, and uh, left that for about 15 minutes or so, make sure it's totally dry, because it's a lot of layers to pull all at once, and as you can see, comes up pretty clean. So I'm not too sure what we call this, kind of graphic, collage, illustrative techniques, um, I'm just playing, you know, best thing about the gel plate is it really encourages play, that's what I'm finding anyway, and um, you know, I never get too precious about what's coming out, especially when I'm working like this, just experimenting and having fun. So again, tracing paper comes out. I'm going to stencil in some more shapes, see if I can add some, some pattern to this area. So that shape I've just traced, um, or those shapes I've just traced, I'm going to then flip over onto a sheet to create a stencil. And through that stencil, I'm then going to transfer some pattern straight off the gel plate. So um, can fix those down um, with some masking tape just to make sure they stay in the right place. Inking up in green, transferred a little spare bit of halftone pattern I had. And there you go, just a bit more interest, a bit more pattern in the background. Finally, just kind of squiggling on some pen work. Um, as I said before, no great kind of design or plan with this just playing and I think that's if there's one message I can get across it's that these magazine transfers are going to frustrate you they are going to be hit and miss but you will learn a lot about kind of drying times um, thickness of paint on the plate pressure when you're doing a transfer and believe me if you move from magazine transfer to laser copier transfers if you've had any success with magazines, you're going to find it fairly straightforward, I reckon, with the laser copy transfers, because they're a lot more forgiving. Um, anyway, let's have a look at one more example of um, a creative idea you could try. And here I am again, transferring another part of a um, an image I found from the same fashion mag and just trying to pick up some of these blotches. Um, but you know, if I leave it pressed too hard, it's gonna disturb my actual image. So again, it's back in with the masking tape to do a little bit of cleaning up. Because I want the negative space in this one to be fairly clean. So the idea here is, here is I'm gonna transfer this guy and, and do a, a kind of illustration or drawing as part of or into or combined with the transfer and I'm just going to remove a tiny little bit because I'm actually going to give him some antlers um, just because I want to see how well kind of drawn elements sit with the kind of textures and tones of of the actual transfer so I'm just removing with a tiny little roll of masking tape there part of this which um, will give me a, a little negative space to start drawing my horn shape and my antler shape in once I've transferred. Now, as well as this little bit of prep, I'm gonna sort of have a think about backgrounds. I'm gonna have a lot of negative space in this, this picture. So, um, you know, I've got my sketchbook open here and I'm just gonna kind of get a wash down. And this is watercolor and um, just mixing up. I can't even see what I've probably mixed up kind of is it raw umber and ultramarine probably just to give me a kind of um wet into wet wash of of, of kind of a fairly neutral tone and color that i'm then gonna flick some paint into as well just to create some interesting textures you know these should sit quite nicely as a background um quite a soft discreet background um but a way of breaking up that negative space you know, as I said before, a real, real plus of these magazine transfers is they're kind of ten a penny. You can really easy to get hold of them. Um, you don't get too precious about them. If, if they transfer, you feel like you've had a win. From that point on, you can just have a have a bit of a laugh, really, and just um, you know transfer them over all sorts of different backgrounds. Try out other ideas that you can take forward. Um, so here I'm using a bit of, um, oh, what am I got, like Naples yellow, I think that is, Amsterdam paint, and um, just kind of loosely rolling, so I get a bit of paint texture going over my background as well, um, positioning that 
over that sketchbook page, let that dry for five, ten minutes or so, and ready to go with the fun bit, which is kind of drawn illustration work. Now, I say that because obviously, like, I'm into this, <laughs> not everyone might be, um, but I'm presenting it again as a, a kind of creative opportunity or possibility within these magazine transfers. Um, you know, I think you know, you, you're at first restricted by what's in your magazine. Um, so that narrows it down. And then you look at what might potentially transfer in terms of like, has it got high contrast and so on. You look at what you've got and, and it kind of really forces your hand. You have to kind of think around the image and think, well, what can I do with it? And I think that's, you know, sometimes when you presented with things that give you parameters, um, it's a nice challenge. You know, it's going to force you to work with what you've got and come up with an idea or a solution so as i said before you, you're definitely going to make discoveries and you're definitely going to build some techniques and some experience working with this and this is kind of how i've been using it very much in sketchbooks and having fun passing a few kind of mindful hours i guess all right so all i'm doing here i've been uh, sort of off on a bit of a tangent there um i'm just penning in now and i'm trying to kind of loosely match the tones of the um, photographic transfer with the drawing so I, it wasn't a black drawing pen that was a grey drawing pen um, I've tried to break some of that space up by stenciling on a kind of pink circle for a kind of like uh, you know like planet or a moon kind of motif and yeah there you go um, adding dropping a little colour in as well um, loads of fun um, and you know as I said before a great kind of graphic challenge to try and think how can I creatively use a section of a picture from a magazine to develop an idea. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that. As I said a couple of times in the video, it's hit and miss. I'm going to leave it up to you how far you're willing to persevere. Um, what's coming up? Well, I finally bought a smartphone. Um, arrived in the 21st century and a few kind of gadgets so I can get out and about doing some sketching um, I've also been trying out some water soluble oil paints which um, will be a bit of a kind of left or a right turn um, from the usual content I make but you know it's kind of what I'm into at the moment so um, if you're interested you can look forward to checking that out in the meantime support the channel by commenting below give me some feedback give me some ideas and uh, subscribe spread the word i'll look forward to seeing you soon in another video ta-ta